Hi everyone and welcome to CG Route. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use 3ds Max Cloth to model and animate a pillow, a sofa cushion or something like that. So first of all, let me show you the end result, what we will get at the end of this tutorial. So here is the pillow which I have modeled using the same technique and here is the wireframe version of the same model. So let's get started in 3ds Max. So first of all, let's start with the box with almost the dimensions of a pillow like this. Let me change the color to a nice gray and I'm going to change the height of this box a little more or less like maybe 0.6 okay so let this box behave like a pillow we need to do a bit of modeling so let's convert this box into an editable poly and go into the edge mode I will select one edge and ring it and right click connect I will add two edges and make them closer to adjacent edges like 98 or something okay that's fine now I will do the same thing on the opposite edges select one edge ring and connect okay now we got edges at the borders so now let's add some more edges to give it a resolution ring it connect I will zero it out by right clicking on this value and let's add some resolution okay that's fine same on the opposite side connect and maybe three will be enough okay now we are almost done with the pillow part so before adding cloth on this pillow let's add another box which will behave as a floor and interact with this pillow so let's add another floor and I will also give it a nice color and now let's position the pillow box just above the floor let me off the grid by pressing G and I am just reposition the pillow box just above the floor like this make sure it is not intersecting with the floor object like this and let's rename the boxes let me call it pillow and this will be our floor so now I will select the two boxes and in the modifier list let's add cloth in the object properties I will make the pillow as cloth and the floor as a boolean object now as far as pillow cloth values are concerned the default ones are very fine but I will add some pressure to my pillow so let's add something like 60 okay and let's simulate whoa what a pillow okay now look at this pillow I think the pressure is too much so let me decrease the pressure I will array simulation go to object properties and let me set it like 30 okay now let's simulate it again okay that's fine now it looks like a soft pillow okay so right now we are not yet done because this pillow is looking very symmetrical so to make it a little asymmetrical let's first of all let me add a turbo smooth on top of it Oops. let me add a turbo smooth okay. now on above of it I will add 
a displace modifier. Let me add a displace, luminance center check, and in the map, I will add noise. Okay, let me check the noise. I will drag this noise into an empty slot and choose instance. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what we will get by increasing the strength spinner. So you will see that the pillow is getting asymmetrical, but the size of the noise is quite big. So let me decrease it like maybe 10. Okay, now you can see we got some nice edges there, uh, which are not that symmetrical. And let me decrease the strength like this. Okay. So now the pillow is looking uh, like it is a pillow. Now on top of it, I can add another turbo smooth to make it a little more smoother. Now here is our pillow. You can add a texture to it like maybe if I add a diffuse of maybe gradient ramp I will make it a solid and change the color to some nice colors okay like it and let me select my pillow and here you got a texture. Now on top of it, I can place a UVW map. Okay, let me make it maybe here in stack and I will increase the u -tiles. So now you will get a nice pillow and have sweet dreams. Have any questions, do ask me on my website and thanks for watching.